Now I'm here in Newcastle again today and it's the, the 2nd of November, the 1st of November, All Saints Day. I've just been in the Lake Art Gallery and I was speaking to one of the managers there, um, Mr Hawken, and I asked him about the Lindisfarne Gospels and he said that he doesn't know where the money is going Everybody, it's a big secret, they don't want to tell where the money is going for the Lindisfarne Gospels. They're kept in here, they asked me did I want to go in and see them to pay to see them, I refused. I spoke to one of the customers who was going in to see, the, in to see the, the Gospels and they, they agreed that you shouldn't have to pay. But it's totally outrageous that you've got to pay for the Gospels that were written here and near from here in Lindis Farm, which is not far from here, and they were written in honour of St Cuthbert, the great St Cuthbert. Now, the Lindis Farm Gospels were stolen by Henry VIII and they were taken to London and they were sold to a book dealer. And uh, Mr Hawking in here told me that they're going back to London again to the British Museum, regardless of the fact that they were stolen. And they're here now in this gallery and they should be kept here in Newcastle. They should not be returning to London. They're criminals in London. They're criminals anybody that's charging to see the Lindisfarne Gospels. It's an affront against Jesus Christ. It's a, a, it's a crime against humanity because other people that do not have money, that cannot afford to get in and see them, students, unemployed people, pensioners, working class people that don't have £12 or, or if they're a couple £24 or if they're a couple with children £36 or £48 to begin to see the Holy Gospels of Jesus Christ in the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem where I attend several times and I also read the, the, the scriptures in the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem and the Vatican, you do not have to pay to see the wonders of the earth. The Gospels are written by Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and they were translated here in Lindisfarne and now they're being held captive because the Lindisfarne Gospels are living. They're not a dead book, they are living. It's the word of God, it's the word of Jesus, it's the word of our civilization. And they're charging money in this Lane Art Gallery where it says free entry. I've just came out, I think it's preposterous to ask to pay, especially for me. I, I, I've got the money, I've got enough money to pay for the three for it, but I refuse. And it's an affront against humanity. And this young gentleman here is helping me. Can I ask your name, sir? Uh, G. 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 W. G. W. -E. Yeah. Where are you from, G? I'm from Newcastle. You're from Newcastle. Yeah. University here. Yeah, I am. Thank you very much, sir. No problem. I'll God bless you.